Outstanding. Outstanding. Run through you, he can run by you, he can jump over you. It's going to be a matchup nightmare for some linebackers that find having to mark him on a Sunday. Two. So those are our numbers there. So I'm going to tell you, I know you love John Ross and the 4-2-2 and the 4-2-4 and all that stuff. Him running 4-4 four -four at 233 to me is way more impressive than John Ross's 4-2-2. Here is his vertical jump. Let's see if he did land yet. How about 41 inches, guys? It's at 230 plus pounds. Mm. Right, 233 pounds, 41 inch vertical. 10, 10 and a right? half. Right? Yep. 20, what is 29 on the bench press? 41. You know what that is? That's a creative player on Matt. Will, looking back, now the acceleration. Easy catch. See, guys, when you can catch the football, there's, it's no effort. The rock like this. Running through trash. Nice move. Okay, here's Barkley. That looks like him against Iowa right Look there. Look at the low center of gravity <laughs> oh, yeah. that he naturally runs with, guys. Right. I mean, that's excellent and allow you to work with it. You see Saquon Barkley get out there pretty quickly, get that ball, and now he can do work. Full of times for Penn State. That ball was right on top of him. He caught it naturally and easily. And Daniel Jeremiah, as a scout, you would have already had a high grade on it. You would have looked at the tape. You would have said maybe the best player in the draft, probably the best player in the draft. He almost exceeded that if he didn't exceed that in everything you saw, because everything you saw on tape got confirmed here on the field, in my opinion. Let's go. Get up, get up. Come on, yeah. Saquon. That's a good fight. Let's go. Come on, Saquon. 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 Come on, Saquon.